guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is called Shalia Warring Stage. It plays two to four players, or two, two or four players. It takes about 45 minutes to an hour to play, and is for ages 13 and up. In the game, it is a feel of Battle Machi Koro. You're basically going to get your own player board, you're going to get your own unique buildings to be placing down on your board, and you're trying to gather culture, or you're trying to build up attack to destroy your opponent's palaces. On your turn, you'll be able to basically buy certain things with gold and then you'll roll to take actions and those actions can be gaining culture doing damage gaining more gold buying trade actions and so on and so forth to basically make your palace area stronger you could play on a team with two players against two other players or just a simple head-to-head one-on-one battle there's a bunch of different variants of play including a bunch of additional things you can use like these characters that can come into play that will give you certain bonuses and whatnot but the basic idea is gaining culture or defeating your opponents anyway that's the idea of the game let me go ahead and show you down below what you get in the game and how to play so here we have Shalia Warring States and everything included. Let's go ahead and go through all the components of the game. And the first thing let's talk about is player boards over here. The player boards are going to have their culture track that starts at zero and goes all the way to 18 to win the game, as well as a palace or a palace over here. And they each are going to have 10 health. If you can destroy them by removing their health and putting little health tokens on them, that is another way to win the game as well. Depending on the scenario or the way you're going to be playing the game, are going to have these locked tokens here? and these are going to cost three to remove but you're going to get a basic uh tableau of eight different spaces you can place down your buildings there's also these die here which are going to be rolled and placed on either your player board here or on the cards that you place down on the mat there are the player aids that tells you how to play the game with the three phases you have the purchasing phase the building phase and the action phase each player is going to go back and forth doing these things until you complete then you'll move this first turn marker and it will continue until somebody wins everybody's going to start with five gold currency and three dice. Health markers, gold coins of one and five denomination. There is going to be the level one and two, and then the level three tracker here, a level three buildings, as well as these special super buildings that you can add as well. There's going to be character cards, depending if you play the scenario or not. You can give two to each player at the beginning of the game and utilize them based on what they say. There's these little general dudes that will help you improve your odds of rolling what you want. Lock symbols for different trade things, like this buy blockage token. Attack bonus health bonuses and these minerals here which are going to be used to buy buildings and other things as well there's additional different actions that you can go ahead and switch these around with depending on what the trade actions are going to be a rule book and of course the box for the game anyway that's what you're basically going to get in the game let's go ahead and take you down below and then we'll show you how to play the game for at least a round or so so here we have the 1v1 version set up for Shalia Warring, Warring States. Everybody's got their five gold currency. Their culture track is at zero and they have two lock spaces. This player here has the first player token and everybody's got their three die ready to go. If you want to add any additional stuff like these characters here, you can give two to each player. Some of them will be like buildings and others are going to be like action cards that you can simply go ahead and play. Additionally, there's these big fortress like things that will give you super powers that you can put into the game as well. Extra die is set aside over here along with all your additional components and your trade actions that actually can change throughout the game or uh, throughout each and every game as you'd like as well so okay let's go ahead and begin the game so let's look at our player eight it says the purchasing phase for level one it's going to cost one gold card and for level two it's going to cost three gold uh, three cards and these are the cards you'll be discarding so this player is going to go ahead and start by purchasing so one two and three he'll pick up one two and three cards the cards like blacksmith and mark Market and farm we're going to have a health as well as a cost to play onto your board they'll also have the name and type along with the action associated with the card each of the cards for the level one deck is going to cost one to place so he'll save these extra two currency for later so we can go ahead and build these this other player will do the same he's going to go ahead and spend three currency as well and he can go ahead and select cards from the deck after that, we're going to go ahead and move on to the building phase. Now, remember, you can also buy other stuff. So, for instance, you can pay one gold to change the drafting pool. So you can discard those guys and put new ones out for a gold. You can also spend four gold to take additional die for actions. And you can also spend um, one officer and get one mineral. So that can be useful to you as well. But during the building phase now, you're going to pay the building's costs and consider building the condition. Uh, consider the building condition. So, for instance, to build this guy here, 
you'll have to have a farm or a ranch already on your board in order to put that there. And maybe for a cavalry, you'll have to have an infantry or a cavalry already on the board in order to place that there. These guys do not have any building conditions other than just the cost. So if I wanted to build a farm and a market, I could go ahead and spend that to currency and I could put it down. Um, now in this, it's going to go back and forth. So this player would go ahead and get to build his farm. This player could go ahead and build his or her blacksmith and they're going to spend their currency like that. And then uh, once all of the building conditions are met, then that would end the building phase of the game. You could pay three gold to unlock these spaces as well during the building uh, phase and defense cards must be built in the front row of the game. So defense cards are things like blockades that can protect you from taking damage to your palace. Then there's the action phase, and every card can be activated only once during the phase. So if you have some cards that'll have two different spaces, you can only activate one or the other side. You'll take your die, and then you're going to go ahead and roll them and place them down on the board. Now you can place them down on these spaces here of the buildings you've built, or if you don't have any buildings or don't want to use them, you can place them over here, and you can gain things like you can gain two gold, or you can gain two officers. Now remember, maybe I wanted to do this instead. I can gain three gold, two gold, and two gold. That would give me three, four, five, six, seven gold. And I would get my five here, and then two ones. This player isn't gonna get a chance to go as well, and he'll roll his or her die. And once again, the placement will go. He's got a two, so he can go ahead and take a trade action. And he can go ahead and place these here for two and four gold. One, two, three, and four gold. And then he can go ahead and use this trade action. And trade actions are over here. You go ahead and choose stuff like you can sell a mineral um, and you can gain gold, but your max amount of times you can do that is three. Buying minerals, hiring, hiring merchant mercenaries. You can buy at level two cards from here. There's blockade tokens that you can place down on buildings that will stop them from being active until somebody activates them again. You're gonna have a selling culture, which is this little track here. Buying attack tokens, which gives your building stronger attacks and hiring assassins, which means you can ignore defense cards and deal a damage. Pretty useful. Useful, right uh, and after that happens you just move this little token over on this side and continue play you'll go ahead and reset everything and players will once again begin with the purchasing phase purchasing new things uh, now I'll just go ahead and explain this really quick so let's say I've got my four gold right I can go ahead and spend two here and I can pick up these two guys here and then I can discard these cards here which will let me pick one of these guys here when you pick up one of these here, you're gonna go ahead and replace it. And as long as you have what is required, you can go ahead and build. Now I've got a blacksmith and a market. So in this case, I can't build my cavalry because I don't have an infantry or a cavalry down here. But if I could, and I, I, I did, it would cost me three gold and one of these minerals here. And minerals you can pick up from spaces on the board as well. But that's the basic idea of the game. There's certain things, like let's go ahead and say that this was already placed here. And let's go ahead and say that, oh, I don't know, that this was placed here, even though they're kind of illegal to be placed right now. But let's say that this player rolled a four and a five, okay? And it says deal six da or deal five damage, in which case you can go ahead and choose to deal damage directly to the palace of the player that you'd like, and they're going to take damage. And now they've only got, uh, they got another seven health left. If they get all the way down to zero, they're going to lose, and this player will win. On the other hand, you got this here. So let's say he had a four and he had a three. Then this guy says he gains five cultures. You'd move this on the culture track. And if he ever got to this space here, he would win. So there's two different ways to win based on the different scenarios and whether it's a 1v1 or a 2v2 of the game. So I think you get an idea of how you play the game Shalila Warring States. Let's come up and talk about it. I'll give you a little example of some different variations and the special bonus cards, as well as the super powered cards. And then I'll tell you what I think about it. All right, so Shalila, now let's... I can't even pronounce that name right now. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the interesting characters and specific buildings first. So for instance, you're gonna get character cards like this to begin the game. There's a beginning mode game, which is kind of where you wanna start playing. And then you can go ahead and go to the different advanced modes and the different types of gameplay that you can go ahead and choose to go back and forth from. So there's gonna be probably at least one or two new ones that I haven't played that I know for a fact are gonna be in it. But these guys here, like the strat strategist is a strategist, uh, black, Place one blockage token on any card on your opponent's territory. And this is a card you can go ahead and simply play, or you can go ahead and sell this card for four, four gold currency. The giant, you can build this card immediately, and for any die, you can do a damage. So it just gives you, it starts letting you do damage early on in the game. The philosopher lets you build this card immediately and lets you gain culture, which is the exact opposite. The general, gain three attack tokens and apply them immediately. 
Architect, open all locked spaces on your territory. Wow, that's really, really useful. The Captain, gain three life tokens and apply them immediately. So you get an idea. These kind of like grant you abilities or useful speed ups in the game, but everybody gets them and they get different types of things, right? Uh, the basic cards like school and whatnot, they're all going to just have one simple number on them and you're going to try and roll those die and hope that you get those number depending on what your strategy is. There's different strategies in the game as to how you want to go about it. Do you want to build defenses, protect yourself from being destroyed and gather culture? Or do you want to go ahead and go hard on the attack and start hitting your opponent's palace as, as much as you possibly can? Sometimes there's a mix of both, depending on what your opponent is doing, is kind of how you want to counter them. So there's that option as well. Additionally, there's these big guys here, like the Fortress, the War Elephant, and the Ancestral Valley. These things are going to have a lot of health. Like the Fortress has four, five, six, seven HP on it, but it costs four and four minerals. And it must be attacked before you attack an opponent's palace. So it's very, very useful in protecting against your buildings and whatnot getting destroyed as well. And you can actually destroy buildings in this game. So if you do two damage and you have a market on your opponent's side of the field, you can destroy that market as long as it's two health. Um, and this one here lets you gain two life tokens as well. So it kind of like beefs you up. The War Elephant does two or seven damage. And then the Ancestral Valley lets you gain two or seven culture. So these guys are basically like overpowered versions of the level two cards in the deck right and they don't have any requirements other than just you need to have a lot of currency in order to place them on the board and then you have like trade actions right and the fact that you can change the different types of trade actions in the game as to what they do whether you're doing assassins or blockage or selling culture or attack tokens there's like four more i think as well and all the basic ones here at the top letting you sell and buy minerals hiring mercenaries and buying level two cards in a different way other than just discarding cards from your hand they can all be of relevant uh, but overall, the game's really solid, solid. I like the quality of the components. This game looks like it's already fully finished. I have no idea if it's if it's actually fully finished or not, but it definitely looks like it already is. Um, and if not, I can only expect better things from it because all the components are really, really nice. The artwork is beautiful. I really enjoy the artwork for this game. All the different buildings are really cool to look at. It reminds me of a solid, like... It reminds me of the PlayStation 1 when playing the different types of... Uh, sim city type feels maybe maybe not sim city but something that where you're building the different like cities and whatnot it has that really gorgeous looking like drawn uh feeling to the game i really really dig that as well as the fact that it's ever changing being able to choose from one thing to another thing and constantly having to change your strategies up i like machi Koro. I like space base. And so it goes to, to show that it's not any surprise to anybody that I also like this game as well. This game is definitely a, a lot more competitive in like the aggressive nature of the game because you're uh, either going at the opponent who is trying to get their culture up, or you're doing damage to them, you're attacking back and forth, and you're being, your strategy is very different than something like space base where you're constantly trying to upgrade yourself. This game, the, the upgrades kind of stop at a certain point and then it just comes down to which way you want to go about deciding which decisions you want to make. And the fact that you can play the 2v2 as well, and the fact that you can trade cards back and forth, there's certain different rule sets that change depending on the number of players you're playing with, but you'll be able to actually trade cards in your hand with your with your your friends, right? And so that is a nice little twist as well. If you get if you like again if you like Machi Coral, this is definitely one I would suggest you taking a look at as well if you want something a little more aggressive in nature. But if you like space base, this one has a little bit of the mechanics as far as the die rolling, but it's definitely a very, very different game. Players who are going to like that type of die rolling game are going to dig this and players who don't like too much of an aggressive style game it might not be specifically for you but either way i definitely suggest you check out the game i really really like this game i had a lot of fun with it playing 1v1 and playing 2v2 i'm excited to see what the other different variations are going to come out with and i'm definitely going to be playing this game again this game is going to stay in my collection as a game that i want to show people who want a little bit more aggressive aspect uh, aggressive nature from machi koro so if machi koro is too tame you want something more competitive this one's definitely one i would suggest taking a look at shalia war states i hope i said the name right who knows outro all right guys thanks for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review if you like this video make sure those other videos here on youtube like subscribe and comment as well as take a look at shelly the warring states the two or four player aggressive machi coral style game also go ahead and check out our friends everythingboardgames.com and the giveaway geek my site unfilteredgamer.com and go ahead and check out our live stream every wednesday 7 30 p.m pst we're doing games just like this live and doing a bunch of giveaways as well and it's also on our site all right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to battling it out with you, rolling style, next time.